Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can make use of the text-to-speech and speech-to-text functionalities on OpenWebUI. So by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding about how to use all of the audio elements in OpenWebUI. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll first start by the most simple way in which you can get some sort of an audio response is we can give some sort of a prompt, we get a response back, and then we can read the that Roman out Empire aloud. was the largest empire in the ancient world, spanning over 2.2 million square miles at its peak. Not the best response here, and not the best way to interact with this voice, but still, it's useful to know that we can get some sort of a read aloud response. Another way is we can use the call feature. So the way that it works is when I select the call feature, first, my speech is going to be converted to text. Then that text is going to be fed into the large language model. I'll get a response back from the LLM, and then that response is going to be read out aloud. So let's try this call feature. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need more facts, feel free to ask. So again, not the best sort of voice or response back that we'd like to get. Doesn't really have any sort of emotion in there. So how do we actually get a better sounding voice on this platform? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my admin panel, click on my settings, and then click on audio. So there are two things here that we have to consider. The first is the speech to text setting. So this is going to be the model that is going to convert all of our speech into text. So if you see, for example, that the model isn't able to understand what you're saying, then maybe you might want to select maybe something like the OpenAI model, the Web API model, or the Whisper local model. If you wanted a better sounding model back, then if, for example, you have Web API, you can just make use of the text-to-speech voice. You can try out a, a lot of these different voices and see if there's anything that really fits your need. Now, these are not the only voices that are available. So we have something else in the text-to-speech settings that's known as 11 labs. So what is 11 labs? If you go here, it, it's a realistic speech platform that allows us to generate voices that sound a lot more real. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna to go to the app and I'm gonna select voices. Now you can see here that I have a bunch of different voices that are available here. So I have something like Aria. There is no greater harm than that of time wasted. As we are liberated from Bill. our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. If you spend Jessica. your whole life waiting for the storm, you'll never enjoy the sunshine. So basically, all I would do is I can take one of these voices and then just simply use those into my platform. Now, the best thing here is that you only need an account. You don't really need to pay for anything um, to use the initial API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my workspace, click select API keys. Now, I already have a key that I've generated. So I'm going to keep this API key and I'm just pretty much going to copy this key, come over here, go to 11 labs and then paste my API key here. Once I paste my key, I can select a bunch of different voices here. I can select Aria, Alice, Lily, for example. Let's try Lily. Now, I also have a bunch of text-to-speech models. So I can use, for example, the multilingual model if I wanted to get responses in different languages or just the turbo model. So let's try that one. I'm gonna hit save. So let's go back to the rise and fall of Rome and let's see what sort of a response we get back now. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need more facts, feel free to ask. So we can see here that now the voice sounds a lot more natural. It sounds a lot more real. So if I wanted to, I could also try the call feature. So why don't you tell me something interesting? Just a very simple fun fact. So it did the speech to text. So it did the speech to text functionality. So why don't you tell me something interesting? Just a very simple fun fact. And then it gave me a response. Of course. Here's a fun fact. Bananas are berries, but strawberries are not. 
it's interesting. I Is that true? I don't know. But anyways, you can see here that we can still use these to get this, this sort of a response. Now, another cool thing about Eleven Labs is if you go over to their subscriptions, so they have a couple of them. There's a free one, which you can have the API access, where here we can do things like generate sound effects, create custom voices, all of those different things. There's also the starter one. And in this one, we can basically clone our own voice. So when we're talking, imagine that we don't want to talk to Arya or Lily or Brian, but we want to talk to ourselves. We can do that. All we would do is we would provide samples of our own voice, and it's going to be able to generate an entire AI system that's going to be able to respond just like how we would respond in our own voice. So that's something interesting. If you want to take a look at that, um, 11labs.io is the place where you can set that up. So. With that being said, that brings us to the end of this video here today. Um, all of these different functionalities like we have for text-to-speech, speech-to-text are very useful, especially if you're going to be interacting with your large language model on the go. So thanks for tuning into this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.